Have you guys heard about the elevation elevator pitch? Yeah, I've I hate that. I, <laughs> dude, I I'm I hate that. I don't know why Embry will force us to like do in do that. I yeah, I've done it almost every semester by now. Dude, like, like, I don't get it. What's the point? <laughs> just to sell yourself. But the thing is, it's so robotic. You know, it's not authentic. Yeah. <sighs> I I I don't know. I don't like I, it. I I, th- I don't think so. I would disagree. Okay. I think just being true to the person uh-huh. and being yourself uh-huh. and knowing that you would be good uh-huh. asset for that person uh-huh. i think that's a good sales pitch no but the thing is elevator uh, pitch makes it more robotic like they give you a script yeah it it seems like it's a script elevator pitch should be natural <coughs> like whatever you are you have to say it uh, like in 30 seconds or something you don't have to sell yourself it's just you're uh, telling who you are yeah. i think i think it's kind of like mix of both because the elevator speech is uh like the whole approach is how to sell yourself in less than 15 seconds. That is more or less what it takes on the elevator. Or yeah. What is it like? Yeah, 15, 15 seconds, right? Well, under, 30 under 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah, 15 to 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, coming back to, like, I, I totally see the importance because I think it's, it's important. Yeah. Um, now, to, your whole, to the whole approach of not being uh, genuine, I totally see that. Mm-hmm. Because you cannot, it's kind of like selling the same product to every single, like, like individual in the United States, you're ha- gonna have people that they're appealed to it, and you're gonna people that are not gonna be appealed to it. Yeah. Now, I totally see that it has to be more genuine. Yeah. What I what I figure out is like you have to know, kind of like the it's based on company because if you apply for the same position for just in different company, it's still sure it's still the same role whatever, um, a little bit different. But if you it's different company culture, so as long as you can tailor it and kind of like be more genuine to that person to that company and individual person, I think that's. I That's think good. it also depends on you and what you're trying to achieve in the long run. Because yeah. for me, for instance, I'm not trying to work under nobody in the long run. But uh-huh. at the same time, I'm trying to get experience. Right. So whether I have that elevator pitch or not, it's not really that much of an importance. Because mm-hmm. I know I want to do something else at the yeah. end of the line. Uh-huh. So this is just a step. You either help me take it. Right. It's just a leap of faith, basically. Yeah. The thing is, like it says elevator pitch. Like, if I was a employer... Like and someone's just, I'm just you know going up, uh, up to like third floor. Someone comes in, hey, you know, and he's he or she just starts to you know sell herself. Like, I see I that's know. where the thing comes. Okay, your elevator. <laughs> I'll pitch, be surprised. <laughs> no, your elevator pitch has to be so good <laughs> that it do not seem like you have memorized something. Yes, yes, a, yes Or yes, B, it yeah. should not seem like you're trying to sell yourself. Okay. Yeah. Elevator pitch in its true form should be some. Uh, a pre-prepared but normal conversation with an employer. But yeah. the thing is, like, if wait, they wait, start yeah. talking, okay, yeah, go on. Sorry, yeah, it's good. just this is important information. Yeah. Sometimes when Rafael starts talking, have you seen the, your paragraphs that you used to have when you were in school, and it's like the text, and then there's like the note in the middle of the paragraph that has the space, and it's like between lines, and has the, like the important information <laughs> of the, the page. The comment section. Yeah. That's Rafael's comment, man. Like we're talking the topic, uh-huh. and Rafael's like, this is the highlight of the page. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Rob, have you ever done elevator pitch? Tried to in the in the actual elevator? Huh? Yeah. Really? <laughs> 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 Which company was so, it? Oh, Atlas Cargo. Okay. Okay. So somehow the recruiter that had come for Atlas Cargo, okay, was South Asian. Okay. In this in our school. In our school. Okay. So he was going upstairs to Starbucks. This is like okay. last semester. Okay. Last to last semester. Yeah. And I start talking to him. How? Okay. Where did how did you start? Like, what was the first like sentence? Like, hey, how's it going? No, he asked me first, how, how's your day going? How okay. was the? And I start talking, and very subtly I put in, okay, okay. you know, I'm a pilot here and okay. stuff like that. Always looking for his new opportunities and. <laughs> He took my resume. Really? After wow. that, the, the, the paper. The paper. Oh one. wow! Okay. Yeah. But did they, you get hired? They did not have internships. Uh, but okay. He's still in loop. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's Interesting. Pretty good. I did not know that was an elevator pitch until. But it's an, it's, it's a pitch in the elevator. So yeah. 